What is up guys this is Shivain and in this video I will tell you guys how you can fix the problem that you cannot see your camera or imaging devices in your device manager. Now if none of the solutions worked for you in this video then I'm sorry to say but I think that your problem might be more of a hardware problem than a software one. So I suggest that you take your camera or your laptop if it is an integrated camera and take it to your nearest technician and get it checked there. Now before I begin with the video, I would just like to say that if you guys encounter any tech related problems, just come to this channel to get them solved. That means just comment it down on our videos and email us regarding your problem and we will make a video to fix it. Now let's begin with the video. So first thing that you have to do is go to your camera app and then click on settings. There, make sure that everything is turned on for the camera and then when you scroll down, you'll see a reset button. Just click on that reset button and then check whether your camera reappears in your device manager. Next, you go to your control panel and then search for troubleshoot. Then you open up the troubleshoot page and go to hardware and sound. Then you scroll down and you'll find video playback. Just troubleshoot this and then follow the instructions. After that, you troubleshoot your Bluetooth and again follow the instructions. And finally, you troubleshoot Windows Store apps. And after you troubleshoot all of this, try checking your device manager again to see if the problem was fixed. If it was not, then you open up your command prompt and run it as administrator. Then you type in the following commands. I'll link them in the description below for you to check out. The first one is PSIM online cleanup image check health. Then you move on to DSIM online cleanup image scan health. And then finally you go to DSIM online cleanup image restore health and let all of these processes work out. After you're done with DISM, you run the last following command that is SFC scan now. What this command will do is that it will check for all corrupted and missing files on your windows and then try to fix them or install them back automatically. So this method is also actually helpful in other cases because it is a basic method to get your windows files fixed and restored. And you can run this method if you have any other problems to see if it can get it fixed. Now after you run all of this, remember to restart your computer and check whether your camera is back in the device manager or not. If this still doesn't work, then I recommend that you go to your windows settings and then go privacy for camera and there make sure that everything is turned on and you allow all the apps to access your camera. As you can see, I have allowed access to all apps to my camera. And then if you have a shortcut key on your laptop for your camera like me because I have a shortcut key for camera and that is the FN plus F6 key. So make sure that you look into your keyboard and if you find a shortcut key for your camera, make sure that you turn your camera on through that shortcut key because that is different from your privacy settings. So make sure that you do that and after that check whether you have your camera back in the device manager. If the camera is still not back in the device manager then we move on to the next step that is downloading the drivers for your camera because they may not have been automatically downloaded. So for that you can use a pre-built driver software like the iobit driver booster 7. I'll link it down in the description below. You can just install it and it will automatically update and install all the drivers that you require. If you don't want to use this software then you can also manually download your camera drivers from your manufacturer's website. For me I'm using an integrated camera on my laptop so I go to the manufacturer website and then search for my model and then download the camera drivers from there. If you have a dedicated camera then you download the drivers for your particular model from the camera manufacturer's website. Now after you have installed the new drivers check whether your camera appears back in the device manager. Also one thing to note is that you go to your device managers view option and then select show hidden devices. This is very important. Now if this also didn't work for you and you cannot see your camera in your device manager then the final thing that we can do is manually add 
that device to your device manager and for that you go to action and then click on add legacy device then you go to install the hardware that i manually select from a list and in the common hardware types you go to camera if the hardware section for your camera is empty then you go back and then select imaging devices now in the imaging devices if your camera is properly working that is the hardware is properly working then your camera manufacturer should show up in the camera tab or the imaging devices tab and if it does then you just select your manufacturer and then select your camera model and then select the first option which is generally the camera that you have attached and then click next to install that camera since i've already installed my camera on this that option is unavailable to me but if your camera is properly working and it is not being displayed in device manager then it should be available to you now after you install the device manually that device will act as your imaging device or your camera and then you can use the properties in that device to change the settings of your camera or your imaging device finally if your camera does not even show up in this legacy device and it is not displayed in your device manager then all I can suggest in terms of software is that you go to your windows setting and then go to reset this windows. What this will do is that it will reinstall windows but when you click on the reset button you just select that keep all the files and what this will do is that it will not delete any files from your PC it will just reinstall the windows operating system and this will give you a fresh start on windows without any corruption and all your file folders intact. And after that, you can check your device manager to see if it works or not. Now that was all in terms of software. And if all of this doesn't work, then that means there is a problem in the hardware of your camera or your imaging device and you need to get it checked. Most probably it is that some wire got loose on your laptop or some wiring issue with your external camera, which is what causes this problem. So you need to get it checked from a technician who can fix the hardware issue. So thank you for watching the video guys. If this video helped you, please consider liking it and remember to subscribe to our channel because we provide solutions to all your tech related problems. I'll see you in the next video. Until then, bye.